Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Keep Gaming Reviews. I'm your host, Lou Nieves Jr., and I'm joined by Mayamo CG. What's going on, brother? Uh -huh. As you can tell, I'm very happy today. We just <laughs> finished seeing episode eight, Marvel's What If. And man, what is it, it was I, I can't even explain the words of how proud I am of Marvel for this one. Chris, what were your thoughts, man? After watching the See, entire Lou, episode, man, you almost gave up. You I almost, almost I was so it. close, man. They I made me laugh last week. This week, they left me with in. my jaw dropped. I tried to reel you in. I told you it was coming. You I was told right. You. you was right. I was. Losing I told faith. you it was coming. The war was coming, right? Woo. And this episode delivered on multiple sides of everything. It gave us what we've been waiting for. Ooh, it gave yes. us how everything is kind of connected at this point. Oh, before you the rest begin. of the show, spoilers, spoilers ahead. ahead. Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna go deep, and you know they be like, "Damn, I didn't even see it." Well, if you haven't seen it, go watch that shit and come back right now. I don't care if you didn't watch the rest of the series; just watch episode eight. Yeah, and it'll I think make that's you all watch you need to watch else. right now. Right. Um. <laughs> But they explain everything that we've been wondering, right? Yes. So this whole time, we've been getting all these episodes, and we're like, wait, but this story doesn't connect with this story. This character wasn't in this one. This we did, None of them have ever met. We've been through seven episodes. They've yet to meet each other at all. And we're like, yo, I thought this was a multiversal thing. Yeah. What's going on over here? The only consistent and thing is the Watcher. That's it. The only consistent thing is the Watcher. He's watched multiple different stories in different universes, all this good stuff. And... It started with the end of last week where Ultron finds him. And he's like, wait, what? Oh, so my guess is that happened after what happened in this episode. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Yeah, and it didn't happen. I believe so. It may be the truth because of the way he reacted there. It was like, wait, what's going on here? Oh, he found me type of stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Um, But... This episode just, oh my God, it delivered everything. It gave us what Ultron could have been, and then some. Because yeah. Ultron, to me, is one of my favorite characters. I actually enjoyed Age of Ultron uh, because of Ultron, mostly. I don't know how. Everything else wasn't really that great. It didn't but, like, live Ultron, up to it. Ultron himself was dope to me in that movie. Because he could, um, in that movie, we all know he could have done a lot more damage than what he did. Of course, of course. And he did. But it. then it wouldn't, you know, it would have been an Ultron movie. I mean, obviously, it should have been he, <laughs> Angel right, Ultron. <laughs> we, we see what he's capable of. Yeah, yeah. Um, when he gets the power that he desires. I mean, um, the crazy part is he destroyed his universe without any infinity stone. Well, he has one. one. Yeah, yeah, right, right. From this. I'm saying besides the yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So he already knew how to destroy a universe. Yeah. With as much power as he can fathom. Mm -hmm. And then I'll let you take it for what happened after he killed his universe. Bro. Because I know that was one of your favorite parts. Yo, hey, he's on the top of what it looks like, uh, what's it called? Avengers Tower, right? And we see as he's talking and everything's taking place, fucking Thanos comes through like he did in Infinity War. And I was like, oh shit, they're going to fight. It did not happen like that. He was like, Looking at him, and he just legit beamed him in half, took the Infinity Stones, and kept it moving, bro. He's like, like, what did he say? I forgot the exact words he said, but he was just like, fascinating. Like interesting. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, fascinating. He was like, you know, he was like, thank you. <laughs> like, I was like, what? I had to rewind it for a second. Like, that just, that just happened? What? I was blown yeah, away. Yeah, and that's the thing. Thanos came through with... All the other Infinity Stones. Yeah, he had all the other So five. he was already yeah. pretty powerful at that oh, moment. Oh, yeah. And Ultron with the one stone said, you know what? <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> that was Bye. It. Thank it you. Cut him in they half. Took, the, took the stones, created a whole new suit, uh, revved up an entire army from nothing. And from it looked scraps. like uh, Iron Man too. The way it just right. like opened up opposite of the way Iron Man closed up in the first one. Right. So Sick. like he he created a whole army at that point. Oh yeah, and, said, and then learned about the whole universe, how there was multiple universes inside of this spot. So he's like, all right, 
I well, he didn't care. learn that until he heard the voice. Remember, it wasn't until no, he no, heard no, the no, watcher. No. That's the multiversal stuff. Oh, I'm talking about okay, the universal okay. stuff. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm sorry. Where he's like, oh, I'm on this universe, but there's a universe over there as well. Oh, there's yeah. planets over went there. To cosmic. And he started destroying all the cosmic stuff. Asgard, Captain Marvel, Xander. Captain Marvel came up. Um, uh, oh, She man. put up a really, really good fight, though. Yeah. And to a point where you thought, oh, snap, she's actually like holding her own against this thing. And then he like... was just like, ha. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Hey, you're an idiot. It's all over. Boom! Destroys her planet. Destroys the whole... Everything. Yeah. Destroyed everything. Yeah. He took no prisoners. Literally destroyed every universe. He destroyed that he could Eagle. He destroyed the Gardens of the Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> destroyed all the Nine Realms. Yeah. He, he destroyed everything that he possibly could Yo, it was insane. This this universe, right? And after he's done, he's like, all right, cool. I, I handled everything. And the Watcher is talking. And the watcher's like, oh man, you know, now he's just sitting there wondering what to do with his life because his life goal is complete, yada, yada, yada. And as the watcher's talking, Ultron is just like, I hear you. you. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Boom. And just breaks through the multiversal barrier that the watcher is. Well, the just watcher put there. up a little bit of a fight. He blocked him out. Right, right, right. Yeah, but yeah. And then he just went through there like, yo. He got through. <laughs> yeah. And then the fight commenced. And that fight, Lou, go ahead. Oh, but you forgot to mention one thing. In the beginning of this episode, you see uh, Black Widow. Oh, my God, you're right. Yeah, you see Black Widow and Hawkeye, or more Hawkeye. And he had the one robotic arm, like, with a soldier. It was Hawkeye Soldier and Captain Widow. (laughs) Yo, she found uh, um, this person's shield, but that was later on in the episode, too. Um, What was that? Captain America's shield. No, it wasn't Captain America. It's the other guy, the one that was in the Black Widow movie, the one that like act like a father with the red. Um, oh, that was his that's shield. What it was? Yeah, that was his shield because it was a red star. So that was in Captain America. Mm. Same vibranium kind of shield, but it yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. Yeah, I forgot the guy's name. But anyway, so you see them, and the first thing I thought when I first was like the it came on, I said this reminds me of Terminator Salvation, where like everything is done. There's nothing left, and they're just fighting off these robots, and they were doing their thing. There was a lot of, like, fight for New York, Avengers vibes in there. He was doing his thing with the bow. She's doing her thing on the motorcycle. She's fighting. It was insane. And then that's when they get to the whole Vision slash Ultron thing, and and they took out the entire Avengers. It was insane. But fast forward to where we're up to now... After he 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 starts to get through the multiverse, both Watcher and and Ultron starts a fight. But the Watcher like comes out of his little suit. He has like a different type of armor, and yo, they they fight like they throw down, bro. And they go from different universe to different universe. First they're in New York, and then you get a little Easter egg of President Captain Rogers, uh, and then <laughs> uh, you you see um. Uh, the Wakandians. Uh, then you see like olden times. I forget it was like. Um, I, yeah, I, they went through like every single time period. To, yeah, yeah, they went to time periods. They went to Asgard. They went to yeah. um the scrolls. They the even scrolls, showed up yeah. in this. Uh, they pretty much was just going through a bunch of different universes, breaking through the barrier multiple yeah. times. It was um, intense. And yeah, like every punch that Ultron hit him with, they changed universes. Yo, sick. When he was on the floor and Ultron was just... Mm, and then, mm, yo, mm. I, I don't give them enough credit, but man, these visuals are stunning. Animation was crazy. Oh, it looks so good, You know so what good, was my bro. favorite scene, though? Low-key? Um, when Hawkeye sacrificed himself. Oh, it was towards a parallel, the end, yeah. It was a parallel of what happened in Endgame, but it yes. was the opposite. Instead yes. of Black Widow dying, it was Hawkeye. He was like, I told you I don't want to live. Uh, that was that was a beautiful visual, just the way it like zoomed out and he was. Yeah, just fucking... but you you go you keep skipping ahead. You forget that they had to find much. Zola or Zola right, or whatever right, his name right, is. Right, right, right. Put him in a little like uh, you they know... put him inside of a, a arrow USB. Yeah, shot one of the Ultron robots and, and shit. he became him. They tried to and order that's pizza. when they found out that he wasn't on the universe anymore. Yeah, because yeah. he was like, oh. It, it should it's a universal thing i should be able to find him somewhere in it but he's yeah, no longer he's here. not in this universe yeah so i can't change it so the all was still chasing them when they thought they could just stop him like that and you that know? fight was dope too like dumb escaping too that oh, was great it, it, all great. of it was dope 
Uh, even the reference to Raiders of the Lost Ark, they mentioned, like, he's like, oh, have you ever seen that movie? I don't know if you ever seen um, Indiana Jones movies, but there's a scene in there at the end of, I think, the last, or number three, not the one with uh, Shia LaBeouf, where Harrison Ford, um, he, like, gifts a, a artifact, and it, like, zooms, uh, zooms out, and you see the entire warehouse. It's huge. So you see that, like, they get to As this warehouse. Wanted, yeah. yeah. And the watcher's there, and I'm think I'm thinking they're gonna say, I feel like someone's watching me, but they didn't say that. And you see him, the watcher's like, yo, keep going, it's keep right going. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm, I'm saying the what same are you thing. Doing? Like, yeah. get that shit, bro. And then he grabs the box. I'm like, okay, he got it. Then he puts it back. And I'm like, yeah, like I give up. Yep. This, it's like when you watch someone playing on a stream and you're like, like when you say, like, Lou, go to that right there. You mean, no, turn to the left, go over here. <laughs> and you get mad at me. I'm like, yo, I don't see it. It's right in front of my eyes. It happens all the time on my stream, twitch.tv slash Lou Nevis Jr. So <laughs> <laughs> go go ahead and follow him and subscribe, man. It's, it's a discount this this month, this oh my September. <laughs> And you can even subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime and you connect it with your Switch. You know what I'm saying? So you can get one for free. A anything else? Any other drops I got? No, <laughs> no. no. Okay, you're good. <laughs> but That's no, hilarious. It, it was it was intense. So then we fast forward pretty much the end, right? Where he He's, he escapes. He escapes, and then he goes to this like it looks like a like a black orb, and that's where he meets. Um, I forgot his name. Ugh. Superior Strange. Oh yeah, Doctor Strange. I, man, I can't think of the fucking name, bro. <laughs> so then, th that's where where we saw a couple episodes ago that Doctor Strange is in like his own little world, but he kind of like like he got punished pretty much. Like now you're here and you you're like in a jail. Well, you can't yeah, go he got one. stuck. He got stuck in his little spot. Yeah, as we saw at the end of his episode, he was like, "Yo, I can't get out." So basically, the Watcher escaped to that realm. Yes, yes. And he's like, "Yo, I need your help." So doc, that doctor Well, Strange he was like, "I want you to say it." Right, right. He's still arrogant he's like, I like can't a, he's I'm a little say this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. that shows so the whole time he's been getting closer, he's been getting more involved with the people. He's been like, "Yeah." You know, you saw each episode he kind of just kept easing his way closer like every episode he just kept, you know, he was like that. Um <laughs> To the point where now he was fighting. He's super involved. Yeah, it's uh, over. The he's fight kind of came to him. Yeah. So like I said, I predicted, I said it. He's going to get every single main character from each of these episodes. Yeah, you did. And bring them in to fight Ultron. Yeah. Because Ultron's going to do it. I think Ultron's going to go find the zombie multiversal spot. Yeah. Bring them with him. I wonder how long this episode's going to be because there's a lot of stuff involved. And the I trailers hoping... gave a lot of weight too. Right. If you look at the trailers, we've seen a lot of this stuff that's going down. I'm hoping for like a 45. Yeah, me too. I'm hoping for something like nice, lengthy, where we get a lot of explanation. Because this is the first time in this episode throughout this series that we see another character that we saw from a previous episode in the same episode. Connection, finally. Yes, finally a connection. We've been waiting for this. At least I know I've been waiting for it. But right. I've been waiting for something action-packed, something to connect. Uh, I was just been waiting and finally did it. And you know, Marvel does an amazing job doing these kind of things. Yeah, we kind of, if you think about it too, like the first, up until the first Avengers movie, like we got Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, uh, uh, Thor, Hulk, and Captain America. Not all those movies were great. But once we got to Avengers, we were like, yeah, baby, let's go. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. And now this is what's happening right now on this show. We're getting to that Avengers moment, bro, where everyone comes together. They introduced us to everybody, gave us some story arcs to everybody, and now they're going to come right. together. It's going to be an amazing episode. I can't wait. Right. And if there's one thing that they're consistent with is if Iron Man shows up in the episode, he's going to die. <laughs> yeah, bro. I feel like he died in every fucking Every episode, episode he showed up in, he died. Every time they showed Iron Man, he was dead. 100%. And he it's like in the movies, he was like the main guy. In the show, right. they don't give two shits. He was a zombie. Hank Pym killed him. He died in this episode. <laughs> Bro, it was he, every episode that he shows up and he's dead. So it's insane. I can't wait. I can't wait for this. I'm I'm so hyped. This episode. Let's give our rankings right now. Chris, what do you give this episode? One out of ten. What do you give us? 
10 out of 10. I agree. Uh, this is the <laughs> best episode by far, hands down, front to back, upside down, you name it, I call it. This is the best episode. This is how every episode should have been, bro. I know you got to give some story. You got to, you know, entertain us a little bit. Give, but this by far surpasses any episode. Even if you combine two of them together, the action that was in here was incredible. The, I agree. The, like, even that little scene that you see him fight Captain Marvel, that was incredible. Right. They was going at it. Yeah. Every fight that was in this, even from the Black Widow fighting, yeah. Black Widow and Hawkeye fighting the Ultron robots. That was so dope. Um, Captain Marvel fight, even him just smoking Thanos in a second. Um, All that was crazy. Especially leading up to the main fight, which was, because everybody, nobody knows about the Watchers. Yeah. I, I, most people don't know about the Watchers in general. Well, you only saw them as but, a cameo with uh, Stan Lee. Right, so most time. people don't know about the Watchers in general, so to see a Watcher that we've been seeing every episode just kind of as a narrator yeah. get heavily involved and fight, not only fight, but fight better than everybody else that's been in the episode. All right, so Thanos, who we know was super strong, ripped in half. Captain Marvel, who we know is super strong, smoked, blown up, destroyed. Mm -hmm. The entire Avengers team, dead, besides Hawkeye and Black Widow, but they were they were both beat up. At Yo, Ultron point. ate a planet, bro. Right. Like it was a burger. He just ate it. That is true. That, that was crazy. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? For the, for the most part, my jaw was dropped. I yeah. rewinded probably twice. I couldn't <laughs> believe my eyes. I had to pause. Yo, I'm not Dude. even lying. Six minutes into it, I paused and wrote the guys in the Discord like, Yo, Chris is going to lose his mind, bro. bro this show when... in the first six minutes is already <laughs> awesome. When, when he killed Thanos, I think I ran that back like five times. Because I was like, wait, did I miss something? Did Thanos fight back? Like, <laughs> he, what just happened? He didn't even say he a word. Slice, bro. He didn't, he didn't even say a head. word. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> but 10 out of 10, best episode by far. Yeah. I, I personally, like, you guys know who've been watching. I've enjoyed this entire series. Not me. This one here set up everything so perfect. It finally made everything else make more sense. You know, they made up for the last couple episodes that were kind of trash. I'll say that. Like for me, and I know a couple episodes we watched, we ranked them kind of like seven or six point five. Although we, I ranked it kind of low, you still enjoyed it. Although you ranked it around seven, me yeah. I didn't. I was getting frustrated, but this made up for that. Because like I said, I did enjoy last week with Party Animal Thor, but that that was just a comical episode this one was like yo it's going down i had the surround sound 65 inch the shit was looking crisp it was sounding great i was enjoying my breakfast eating my waffles and i'm like yo this is too <laughs> good this is too good john is missing out man yeah. johnny boombots is missing out hey listen he gave up on it you know i'm happy you didn't no no i i gotta go all the way through man i'm already halfway there how did i just stop right now Right. <laughs> it's like, I'm just going to stop at episode seven. Chris, let me know how it is. No, I had to go through with it, man. I've already committed. So I think next week's episode is going to be amazing. And I, I do think if it's as good as this episode, we may get a season two. Right. Depending on what they do and how they explain the multiverse. And are they going to connect into the movies? We don't know. Very possible. Well, that's could this mean well, could this mean Ultron coming back too? That's the topic for next week. You see, that's the, the thing. topic I, for next week. I don't the, before we get it before we leave, right? I do want to say that's a good that's a good like topic, right? That's a hot take. I don't know, and I've said this before. I don't, and I said I just mentioned it too. I don't know if any of these stories are gonna make it to the big screen or right. have any impact. I think this this was just a recap of everything we saw between the first three phases. And they just explained it in a shorter form. Instead of watching 25 movies or whatever, or 22 movies in the first three phases, here's eight episodes, and this is what it could have been. Because yeah. they always re they always reference back to it, like, this is what happened originally, but what if this happened? And they always have some kind of callbacks to older stuff All as well. All the time. Every the single time. time. Beautiful. Even when they were looking over Ultron, you remember, like, over Vision, they were looking, and it was the same scene, same placement. Yeah. So, Beautiful. well, that's going to be it for us, guys. I want to thank you all for being here. Appreciate the love and support. 
Remember, if you don't have time to watch us here on YouTube, you can always listen to us wherever you get your podcast. Just type in Keep Gaming Podcast, and we go live every Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash Keep Gaming Podcast. Make sure you check us out and stick around for the post show. And again, thank you all for being here. Until next time, keep gaming. Peace.